have sound. I invite you to be seated for a few announcements. The first one is just to say, take this home with you. It's got all the announcements coming for the next couple of weeks. You're welcome to do that, but please leave the insert because we're going to be using the insert up until, up till Thanksgiving. So the Eucharistic prayer that's there. So please leave the insert behind, but you're welcome to take the bulletin and uh, have that to reference for the week coming. Just a couple of things I want to highlight. First of all, uh, uh, we're, the pastoral care committee of the parish is meeting on Wednesday the 18th at 2 p.m. Uh, we're trying to get a few more volunteers to help with that. So if you feel called to assist in nursing home services and uh, home and hospital visiting, etc., cetera, uh, please come and join us and, uh, for a conversation about that. If you'd like to know more, come to the meeting and then decide whether that you feel that's your, your comfort place. So that's on, the, on Wednesday the 18th at 2. Uh, worship committee on the 19th and the rector's office at 4. And then also I want to no note the Order of St. Luke. This is our first meeting of the season. And our day has changed from Wednesday to Friday. So please note that we begin Wednesday at noon with the litany, have a short Eucharist, and then enter into our studies for the Order of St. Luke. So I would highlight that. And then there's other wonderful things coming, such as the Primates World Relief and Development Fund Walk, and uh, both looking for both walkers and um, people to sponsor them. So please be aware of that, that important fundraiser for the year. And all the regular items are listed there as well. Any other announcements for this morning? All right, then I'm going to invite... Oh, <laughs> Hi, Barb. I was almost going to say that. You'll find that in the regular items listed. Oh, thank you, Father George. That's, I, I need you around to help me out for things like this. Um, happy birthday this week to John Erb, Lois Davidson, Yvonne Kyle, and uh, Tony Barnes. And happy anniversary to Alan of Jenkins, Ron and Gail Bird, and Jack and Margaret Alexander. So happy anniversary to all, and, and may you be blessed on the day that you celebrate. Thanks, George. Good. Turning to page 185, I invite you to stand as you are able. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
turning to our bulletin, please join me in the collect for today. O oh God, because in our ignorance and selfishness we so often fail to care rightly for your creation, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may soften and unite our hearts with all living beings who suffer. Through Jesus Christ, the wisdom of creation, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the proclamation of the word. A reading from the letter James. Dear brothers and sisters, not many of you should become teachers in the church, for we who teach will be judged more strictly. Indeed, we all make many mistakes, for if we could control our tongues, we would be perfect and could also control ourselves in any other way. We can make a large horse go wherever we want by the means of a small bit in its mouth and a small rudder that makes a huge ship turn wherever the pilot chooses to go, even though the winds are strong. In the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches, but a tiny spark can set a great forest on fire. And among all the parts of the body, the tongue is a flame of fire. It is a whole world of wickedness corrupting your entire body. It can set your whole life on fire, for it is set on fire by hell itself. People can tame, can tame all kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and fish, but no one can tame the tongue. It is restless and evil, full of deadly poison. Sometimes it praises our Lord and Father, and sometimes it curses those who have been made in the image of God. And so blessing and cursing come pouring out of the same mouth. Surely, my brothers and sisters, this is not right. Does a spring of water bubble out with both fresh water and bitter water? Does a fig tree produce olives? Or does a grapevine produce figs? No, and you can't draw fresh water from a salty spring. Hear what the Spirit is saying. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
reflection on creation. I sat on the old wooden veranda early one gentle morning. Heavy rain had woken me, but the night's sticky air had cleared with the rising of the sun. I sat watching the waves crashing on the reef not far distant, as they had been doing for millions of years before men and women wondered why. The dark, heavy rain clouds slowly thinned, and as the light of a new day strengthened, God used all the colors in the divine palette to paint the sky in lighter shades of glory. A fruit bat flew home to roost, her night's work done. The silver dew covered the grass as the minor bird sang her morning song. I sat entranced at the start of this perfect new day and thanked God I was alive. 